So here we have a an embroidered patch on um, satin. Well, no, actually it's more uh, organza, and uh, it's going on to quite thick, not terribly stretchy wool, but across on the bias it's quite stretchy. But I want to attach this patch, and just because of the thick nature, I thought I would use the penguin wa walking foot to assist. So, <clears throat> I've just pinned it in place. I could have used um, spray. Actually, it's taffeta. Ignore me. Um, I could have used spray adhesive, but I decided to just pin it in a couple of places, and then use the walking foot to make sure it lines up perfectly. So I'm going to go around twice, a um, quarter inch difference so that I can secure it for the zigzag and just use this foot as the marking. So I'll take the uh, pin out there just so it doesn't, so it holds it perfectly. And this time I can pop up the pin more easily. Let's <clears throat> roll that up a bit. to secure these stitches. Perfect. Now what I want to do is um, sew an extra quarter inch around the outside. So the way this foot is designed it's got the quarter inch markings but you have to use the toes and sew around in reverse way which works of course fine. So I'm just going to line this up so that we can begin sewing. And so I use the edge of that foot there as the new quarter inch marking. Do a bit of reverse to hold it secure. And what I will do is make sure my zigzag to secure this is wider than that. And that shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. I can use that this stitching um, as the trimming mark as well. Let's see if this is wide enough. Needs another one.
that good stitching. You can see the back. See how puffy it is? So that's why I wanted to use the uh, walking foot to make sure it held securely. <coughs> Oops. <coughs> and on the front, I just need to trim, <coughs> trim this now so that it's perfectly at the edges for when the zigzag. So I'll trim it and then I'll be back.